throw something out? I don't know. Caught up behind him. Yeah. He's a blocker. He pitted me. He did it on purpose to stop you. On August 19, 2021, Potter County Sheriff's deputies were conducting traffic enforcement in a marked unit on I-40 in Texas. The deputies observed a white Toyota RAV4 following too closely to a truck and attempted to pull it over. When they activated their lights, the RAV4 kept accelerating, and a white Infiniti QX30 suddenly struck the deputies, causing their vehicle to spin out. Both the RAV4 and Infiniti continued without stopping after the collision. Throw something out? I don't know. What the fuck? What the hell was it? Did that blow a tire? I don't know. Car got away. There you go. 742. Road workers approached the deputies and advised a white vehicle traveling behind them had struck them, pushing them off the roadway. I don't know what did I blow a tire, dude? Yeah. I didn't see your tire. 742? You were just driving over there. I was just freaking driving. Yeah, uh, just We lost the vehicle. Uh, we 10 50 uh, our vehicle. I don't know if I blew a front tire. The car that's behind him? Yeah. He's a blocker. Who yeah, was? was? The one, the one with, with did the floor. Did he hit me? With the floor tag? Yeah. Oh, the blocker. 742. Uh, I just got information. Uh, the construction workers out here said there was a vehicle out here, a white passenger vehicle with Florida tags. Uh, he uh, uh, crashed into us and took off. I'm assuming he's a blocker uh, for this vehicle we were about to stop that was running from us. Oh, yeah. He freaking, he pitted me. He did it on purpose to stop you. Fuck, man. What you guys doing? Yeah. Right. Appreciate it. I thought hey, something. Woo. Man, I thought something. I like that y'all broke y'all's neck. That, uh, that fucking car loaded. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we need to go to I-40 East? Uh, yeah. Seven forty-two. Seven forty-two. Yeah, he wouldn't let us over for miles. Yeah. Hey, I got the tag. The tag should be pulled the up. The Florida one? Yeah. No, not Florida one. The uh, the California tag. California tag on that vehicle. I believe it's going to have a single male driver. Uh, there was a white uh, Florida tagged uh, vehicle behind us, tinted windows. The driver of the white Infinity was later identified as 26 year old Monique D. Raw. The passenger who grabbed the wheel of the Infinity to strike the deputy's vehicle was 31 year old Kyle Willica. And the driver of the initial white RAV4 was identified as 35 year old Ricardo Rodriguez. Hey, so we went to make a stop. The following day, law enforcement traced Monique's phone and located her traveling east on I-40 in a rental car. Wheeler County Sheriff's deputies were able to stop the vehicle and observed all three suspects in it. I got him.
Okay. Back passenger, get out of the vehicle! Yeah. Back passenger, get out of the vehicle. Back passenger, my side, get out of the vehicle. Hands up, show us your hands. Look who that is. There's a front passenger too. There's a front passenger? I'm pretty sure, unless it's just the dog. Is there any, you see anybody else? Front passenger, exit the vehicle with your hands up. Get out of the vehicle, hands up. Let me see your hands, both of them. Both hands. Exit the vehicle. Hands up. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Turn around. Walk back. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Back, back, back. Stop. Stop. I'll get on the ground. Okay, lay on the ground. Take your shirt all the way off. Hands out to the side. Don't move. You got him. Luggage, pillows, and a big ass dog. Good. What's your knees back? This one right here. Okay. I got a knee infection. I want to start getting traffic moving. Okay, you got me custody or detained? Hey, I'll call that sergeant. They called me. 904, will they go ahead and show two males, one female in custody? Go ahead and notify contacts with HSI and Amarillo. Notify the contacts in Amarillo and Homeland Security that we've got the vehicle and three occupants detained. We're in custody. She is? Yeah. They don't want any of the others? Well, they want the other two. No, they okay. want the other two. He said, we, we're coming out there. He said, uh, we're, we're headed that way right now. Um, I told him we're at the 151. Did we get a wrecker? And, uh, yeah, yeah. Call it to the office. 904 wheeler, go ahead and send an exhortation wrecker. Advise them it's going to be hauled to the sheriff's office. Do what? He's going to run him right back. 
That's the that dude. Out of Florida? That's an infinity. Where's it at? I don't know. I was like, the other one's on the record. Hey, big boy. All right. Just still stand in front of one of those videos. <laughs> the address? 122 West 2nd. Yeah. Okay. 122 West 2nd. Is that where they're wanting to go? Yeah, we're going to take them up there. Okay, you don't want to go to the sheriff's office? Uh, yeah, we'll have the vehicle to, uh, take it there for you. Okay. Do you, you mean to you mean to tow it there? Or do you want me to? Uh, I already got a wrecker on the way. Tow it. Okay. Not open with their advisor re wrecking service. After searching the rental car, they discovered seven bags of methamphetamine weighing approximately 7.57 kilograms. Pounds? Uh, I bet that's 12. You think? <clears throat> Monique later told Homeland Security investigation agents the drugs belonged to Kyle and Ricardo. When she was asked about their travel plans, she changed her story several times. Just pull forward down there in the ground. All right. Hey, uh, we take over the, all, all three of the OPD. Say, we'll hold it as evidence, is what he said. They want us to put them in that cell, all three together? Well, he just asked that we take them to Shamrock yet and not get to Wheeler. Okay. So I don't know if he's planning on booking all three of them or what he's planning on doing. Okay. So. Y'all hot? No. Ultimately, the three drug traffickers were sentenced to a total of 48 years in prison. Kyle and Ricardo pleaded guilty to possession with intent to distribute meth and were each given 20 years in federal prison. Monique also pleaded guilty to conspiracy to distribute meth and misprison of a felony and was sentenced to eight years in federal prison. Do you enjoy our content and want to see more? Join the Code Blue Cam Patreon for early access to ad-free videos, exclusive content not published on YouTube, behind the scenes, and much more. By joining, it will help with the production, sustainability, and long-term viability of Code Blue Cam. See the link in the description for more information. We are truly thankful for all your support.